Good morning, beloved earthlings. Good morning, good morning. Take three, four, I don't know. My energy wasn't right. I had to stop and eat. I just, you know, trying to do a Dharma wheel on an empty stomach is not a good thing. <laughs> Throws my energy way off and I start channeling too deep into energies. Can't keep myself balanced. Make sure that you eat and keep yourself balanced, you guys. That temperance card that came in the other day still applies. All right, so here we go. Daily Dharma wheel. Thank you all for... Um, Help me out, okay? I have a special going on. $50 one hour readings. My readings are usually $100 for an hour. And $30 half hour readings. My half hour readings are usually $55. This is the I've got to get my car fixed sale, okay? Uh, you know, so got to work for it. So this also gives people an opportunity who normally can't quite afford my services to check it out so think about it half hour or half hour readings thirty dollars full hour with me fifty dollars instead of a hundred right on so I look forward to working with you and thank you for helping me live that way I can get to yoga teacher training I can see my daughter okay go get food Oh man, did I have to get my cards wet? All right, well, whatever, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, you guys, here we go. So we have our Dharma wheel spread out. Okay, this applies for all signs. All your houses, for wherever this falls in your chart, wherever this sign falls in your chart, okay? It applies. So know your chart, know yourself. Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. And here we go, Daily Dharma Wheel. Aries, you got the wheel reversed. Okay, so what's going to bring you up today, Aries, and what's going to bring you down? Those are the questions that you have to ask. What's going to bring a smile and what's going to bring a frown? And they really want you to watch out and be careful for what's going to bring you down since this card is reversed. And we got to think about that, okay? We talk about vulnerability as the new superpower. You guys are going to hear this a lot from me, okay? Yeah, uh, in some instances, sure, okay? But vulnerability can leave you defenseless as shown by this person who's being brought down by this demon, okay? They let themselves be way too vulnerable and exposed and it worked against them and they caused an attachment and this demon brought them down, okay? Notice how the person who's with the God, who's with that heavenly being, okay, there's the heavenly being down there. This is the person, okay? They are not attached. There's no energetic, there's no cord, an actual cord, it's energy. And they use pure energy to, to be lifted up by the gods, by the ancestors. All right, so that's what's lifting them up because they kept themselves protected. They have clothes on, they have a spear, okay? This monk is carrying a spear for protection and he's got a singing bowl that can also be used as an offering bowl. It can be used you know, to heal, to protect also, okay? He's guarded. Here, this person completely let themselves be guarded. And you know, I could equate that to a lot of people in the love and light community, you know? And oh, I mean, you gotta be completely vulnerable and completely open yourself up and just get all your love away. No, you don't, because see what happens? You get pulled down by demons. You better protect yourself. Get real, come on, you guys. <clears throat> okay, there are things that feed off of your love and light. So protect your heart uh, from malevolent sight. Whoa, I like that one. There are things that feed off your love and light. There are things that feed off of your love and light. So protect yourself from the malevolent sight. Um, inside the wheel, there is the snake of, of anger, the pig of laziness and ignorance, and the rooster of greed, okay? Greed, anger, and stupidity are the three poisons that are turning the wheel. <laughs> okay, so be careful. Don't get caught up in those. Um, Taurus, okay, here is an awakening. This is a learning for your clairvoyance, okay, and your clairaudience. This is Dakini of Vajras. This is Lokana. No, this is not Lokana. This is Vajra Dakini. Duh, Lokana's her mother. 
This is Vajra Dakini, Vajra Dakini, and she holds a single Vajra. A single Vajra is a lightsaber. It is a thunderbolt of Indra. Sometimes she holds a skull cup, skull cap cup in her other hand, and will drink blood from it if you piss her off. Um, this Dakini, she can come and she can be very wrathful. All right, you don't want to piss off this type of Dakini. You don't want to piss off any Dakini really, because they're enlightened fairies and they will scorn you. Okay, they will get you in an enlightened way. It'll be an awakening. All right, this is an awakening. This is learning. Okay, learning about the mind, receiving information for the, from the feminine aspect of the mind, but it's still very immature information. This person, uh, if it were a person, it has, you know, they're, they're, still, they're very, very immature and um, very cold and calculated and cutting, okay? Because uh, they're still learning. They're still learning. They're a page, okay? A page is still learning. Coming in for Gemini, okay, for Gemini... <clears throat> The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Here's that rooster. Okay, we're talking about the rooster in the wheel for Aries. All right, so there's the rooster, the greedy rooster. Are you being a greedy rooster? Okay, um, you need to get your house in order maybe. Here the rooster, you know, his house is not in order. He's got to get his finances in order, Gemini. Okay, we're talking about that car. Got to get my finances in order so I can afford to fix it. Okay, you know, here the rooster, you know, he's like, shit okay this is a business card this is a um, home card you know because the rooster's business is keeping that hen house in order okay he's got 10 nests in that hen house and they have centimonies okay these are wish granting egg laying chickens it's like the golden goose all right but this is the golden rooster and the golden rooster has laid these eggs well the golden rooster's hens have laid these eggs and now he has to protect them okay he has to protect them he has to keep them in order he has to keep them warm are you having to keep the house warm? If you're cold, man, I understand. Okay, I, this is the one room in my house that's cold, that's warm. The rest of the house is like 30 degrees. <laughs> okay, pipes burst, <laughs> snowed in. <laughs> okay, this is like the upside down house card. And sorry, Gemini. <laughs> it's all gonna come together. You'll be able to get back onto the fence and sing your rooster song soon enough. Cancer. Oh, Geminis and Cancers, boy. And I'm a Gemini Cancer. Okay, the sun setting, you need some sun. Okay, we, we need some sunlight, big time. Um, seasonal affective disorder is hitting you, Cancer. Um, and it's hitting you hard. The sun is setting on some things. Also, there's some relationships that are coming to an end. Okay, some relationships that you're having to stop. This is the, um, this is the relationship card. <laughs> okay, okay. In, in a love reading, I'd want this card, but here it is reversed. All right, so... You're having to, you know, put some things to an end. Some certain relationships. Maybe there's some shadow work you're having to do with your uh, masculine and feminine self because this is a divine union of self. Okay, this is also an inner card child. Inner card child. Inner child card. Okay, so uh, maybe you're having to, uh, oh, we'll forget that timer. Um, having to do some work. Okay, this is that split of the mind. This is that split of the mind. All right. Split of the mind and the heart, the masculine and the feminine. And there are some things, you know, where the sun has to set. And it's okay. You know, not all relationships need to stay. It is okay. Not all relationships need to stay. Leo. Okay, here we are with the Taurus moon. And are you being a sacrifice? Okay, what's going on, Leo? Um, are, you, are you done being a sacrifice? Maybe you have been the sacrificial bull for a very long time. And, then, and, and now, um, you know, now you're done. You've taken yourself off the table. You're like, I'm not going to be the sacrifice anymore. Okay, maybe there's some passions you had to sacrifice in order to get to some goals to plant some seeds. Okay, so here you are, you know, maybe having to cut off these lotuses to plant some seeds and sacrifice certain lotuses from your pond to get new lotuses. You know, but also, you know, here's that bull, he's on the table. Okay, don't let yourself become that sacrificial bull with your rage either. Okay, Leos, we can get mad as fuck. I'm alive, the Leo rising. Okay, we can start to get mad. You, you know, you may get mad as fuck at somebody and end up throwing them on the table and, and sacrificing them. Please be careful, Leo, because coming up for Virgo, okay, um, here is the player player card. Uh oh, uh oh. See, and, and you know this stuff, it all runs together. Okay, these, you know, the card before and the card after applies. If you know, if, if you're just reading this from a sun sign perspective, right? So, like, say for Leo, the sacrifice before that is the upside down um, sun card, and then after that is, you know, for Virgo comes uh, this player, player, this king of wands, and this this king of wands uh, upside down, this Buddha of love upside down. Okay, that's some narcissistic shit. Watch yourself, okay? Please watch yourself today, Virgo. Um, 
fire sign type energy, Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type energy, okay? Super player. They don't have to necessarily be those signs, but super duper player. Please protect yourself. Okay, they have the peacock there, and the peacock changes poison to medicine, but here we'll call this person um, uh, a scavenging vulture. Okay, a scavenging narcissistic vulture who's going to plant horrible seeds in your garden. He's going to plant weeds in your garden, and it ain't going to be some good weed either. It'll be some crappy-ass weed. All right, coming in for uh, Libra. Okay, here is the eight of jewels reverse. Okay, so you're upside down in work. You're stuck at work, stuck getting to work stuck in the home okay here's another stuck card all right another home and business stuck card so what's going on in the work environment libra okay how are you feeling stuck um there's some work that you need to really focus on okay you've got maybe too many irons in the fire and and you're dropping the ball okay so don't drop the ball today all right libra do not drop the ball today do not drop that hot iron that hot piece of iron because it's going to burn you okay please be very careful at work um please watch your work safety do not slip today. Walk slowly, okay? I'm just, I'm channeling and seeing and, and I'm getting a lot of visions. So please be very, 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 very careful, Leo. Libra, Libra, okay, Libra, be very careful, all right? Virgo Libra, um, somebody at work possibly, a boss type figure is gonna be a complete fucking raging asshole, so be careful. Scorpio. This is your card, reverse. Please don't be some kind of crazy ass poisonous person. Do not be that toxic female, okay, that toxic feminine. This is an emotional meltdown card. When this card shows up, this is a mature feminine having an emotional breakdown. Scorpio, Scorpio, please watch yourself. Okay, here's the Garudas in this card. Also, this is Tara. This is Tara, the goddess. So please watch yourself, okay? Um, big emotional breakdown coming. Okay, big emotional breakdown. It could be you. It could be someone around you. Um, so watch out. It could be a boss type figure who may lose it. It could be somebody at work who is an older feminine who may have something, you know, work or home, really. Um, you know, but just watch out for an emotional meltdown from a feminine. And they don't have to be a woman. Okay? And they could, they could be a water sign. It could be any of the water signs. Okay, but Scorpio, this is a water sign card, so please be careful. And this is very interesting. I've never pulled Tara, uh, green Tara, and white Tara next to each other. Sagittarius, you got to get your elements in balance. Okay, your five elements. Um, fire, water, air, earth, spirit, or fire, water, air, earth, metal. Okay, get your five elements in balance. Um, there's something that needs to come to a completion, and it's not quite yet there. Okay, this is the world card. This is Tara. You got the whole world in your hands but the, right, look she's upside down in her passions and her mind is 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 running her okay her mind is running her ragged and has her upside down in her passions so what's going on sagittarius um there's been a lot of really crazy energy where it just seems like you've been upside down um you know just way upside down the energy has been crazy with the uh, aquarius stellum stellium that's going on seven planets in aquarius a taurus moon um unnatural man-made modified weather and yes it's our it's been proven um you know this is no conspiracy theory um you know this is real shit i am former military i know what the fuck is going on um weather modification this shit ain't real all these energies they have you upside down sagittarius you're being very 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 not vulnerable to them susceptible to them and it's not your fault okay you're going through this massive crazy awakening with all of your elements and it's got you upside down. It's like you're going through a mass awakening that's kind of harder than everybody else's. Okay. You and Jim and I both are like upside down in some stuff. Okay. Sister signs. Sister signs. Okay. So you and Jim and I both are upside down in some stuff because you're going through a multi-level five-way uh, five of awakening of all of your senses all at once. Got it. Wow. Rest. Okay. Ground yourself. Ground yourself, Sagittarius. Okay, coming in for um, Capricorn, we've got the elephant. Okay, and here comes the elephant. Yeah. Okay, this is the tusker in the woods. We got to be careful because this is the night of uh, Vajras. Okay, and it comes in with a fast message. Okay, this is a rampaging, stampeding elephant. Okay, 
we used elephants in battle back in the old day. We, we still, as human beings, uh, as a human collective, we have elephant wranglers. Okay, well, I'm, talk I'm not talking about the asshole circus people. I'm talking about like the people down in Thailand and India who live with their elephants and love their elephants and have a beautiful relationship with their elephants and are one with their elephants. Be sure and watch The Protector with um, Tony Jaa if you are into martial arts movies. You want to see how much somebody loves their elephant? Shit, that's the one right there. So what's up with you and your elephant? Elephants are a matriarchal society. They're very wise. They're very powerful. Okay, so maybe you have this grandmotherly figure that's coming in, Capricorn, because every time the elephant shows up, whether it's right side down or right side up, or upside down, I feel this grandmotherly figure. I feel the spirit ele elephant that's coming in. Okay, now also Tusker in the woods. Sometimes, right, better it is to be alone, like a Tusker in the woods. Um, you know, because it can't be with, you know, not everybody's a trustworthy companion, okay? Um, do not give un, you know unworthy people your energy. And the Tusker who walks in the, in the woods alone, he knows that you know, and not everybody is deserving of that energy. So are you having to be a Tusker and walk your own path, Capricorn? Maybe. All right, so, um, you know, be very, very careful. Um, you know, the cards around you are also, yeah, um, walk alone, especially with the cards around you. you got this upside down world card, and you'll see who's coming up next for Aquarius. Okay, so uh, better it is to walk alone is what I keep hearing uh, for some Capricorns. Better it is to walk alone. Like a tusker in the woods. It's from the Dhammapada. Aquarius. Dun, dun, dun. Let's clear out some of that energy, right? Fuck now. You got the Dark Magician. Aquarius, as above, so below. Please watch where you're going. Watch what you're watching. Okay, you've got all the right tools, but those on the other side can see that too. Okay, watch what you're manifesting. Are you manifesting malevolent magic? Okay. Whoa, be careful. Maybe there's some malevolent magic being worked against you. Okay, and you know, when I talk about dark magic, you know, it doesn't have to be someone working spells, okay? It could be the government doing their malevolent shit, okay? You're, you're picking up on malevolent energies all around you, Aquarius, so guard yourself, please. Okay, there is malevolence around you, there are people around you who do not wish you well, and they're looking at you from an upside down perspective, and you know, they want to hurt you, and you need to increase your psychic protection right now. Increase your psychic protection right now, Aquarius. Do not take any chances. You guys already know I don't play with this shit. I do not play around. When these cards show up like this, someone's trying to come at you. Okay? Someone's trying to come at you. And you're going to need to raise your protection. Um, protection against malevolent infection. Okay? From someone who's using malevolent magic against you, Aquarius. Don't take any chances. Also, don't be that malevolent magician. Okay? Because that shit's going to come back on you. All right, protect yourself against dark magic. Pisces, single-minded focus. And maybe your focus is off right now. So you're gonna, what are you focusing on? Okay, single-minded focus. But what are you focusing on? Okay, here's the four of Vajras reversed. Okay, and you know, what are you focusing on? Like, I can't even focus and look up at the camera because I'm looking down. So you're focusing maybe on the wrong thing, Pisces. Okay, your mental, your wisdom mind could be leading you towards a path of not healing, okay? Or maybe you need to focus on some shadow work right now and go deep and dive deep, okay? Just what are you focused on? They're really asking you, Pisces, what is it that you're focusing on that is causing your mind to turn upside down, that is blocking your healing? This is a card of healing. This is a card of mental foundations. What is it that you're focusing on that is causing your mental foundation to go upside down. That was 1919 on, on the time. Coming in for our bonus card. Watch what you say, you guys. Five of Cups. This is a card of sadness. Five of Double Vajras. Here's the milk, the, the precious Tibetan, Tibetan yak's milk, and it's being spilled. This is the nectar of the gods. And it's being spilled out. Watch who you open up to emotionally really watch it okay not everybody is to be trusted okay not everybody can hear your secrets not everybody needs to know your problems watch what you post don't post all of your bad problems you know like even if you're going through shit okay try and make the best of it wow even if you're going through shit try and make the best of it when you're expressing yourself 
uh, especially online, okay? Because there are other people watching you. This is especially for creators and content creators and such. There are other people watching you and your energy is, it spills out and it affects everybody around you, okay? No matter which way this card is going, the energy is spilling, the milk is spilling, okay? So watch the energy that you spill out. Watch how you are interacting with people um, around you, okay? These five cups, these five hearts that are around you and connected. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do the Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power deck. Durja, Kuan Yin, we're gonna throw you back in. Oh. oh, there we go. Sorry about that, you guys. Split the deck. Bam. Who do we have? That's instead of straight deck split. An imp. Interesting. One of the eight classes of demons. We're doing a lot of Buddhist demonology. This is cool. Oh wow! And it straight goes with this card. Choose positive thoughts that will chase away the devil. The devil showed up in an earlier <laughs> reading. And I like actually, I had to stop and eat and redo the reading because everything was just chaotic. And I had to like change my mindset and change my thoughts and change my heart set. And it was like, no, I don't like this energy that's coming out. And I don't want this energy to come out to all my followers and friends and such. So that's exactly what I had to do. And here goes this imp. Okay, this imp shows itself. Okay, let's look at this card. Whoops. Um, and he's waving this banner with a dragon on it. Wow, I love Buddhist imagery. Check that out, you guys. Really cool. So this is an imp. Change or choose positive thoughts that will chase away the devil. Card 29. Let's look at this. An imp. Hold this up. Oh, a two, 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 two. Give you a little more light so you can hopefully see that. There, you can see that? Yeah, there we go, you guys. All right, so there we go. Here, I'm going to hold that up close so you can really see it and meditate on the card as I read it. Buddhism recognizes the fact that there are other energies and entities existing in the world that we can't see, uh, but that do interact with us and affect us. In the highest sense of the word, demons are simply the projections of our own minds, our fears and hopes externalized and given power over us by our own accord. If you wrestle with it, you come under its spell. But if you acknowledge it while remaining calm and open, it passes right through you and doesn't stick. Spirits are the cause of disease and natural disasters, good luck and bad luck. The source... The source... Wait, oh, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. The source of Charlie Brown's friend, friend Pigpen's little black cloud... Okay, and the reason a person may see everything like Christopher Robin's friend Eeyore does, a bit sad and gray. Some demons are parasitic and feed off of negative emotions and so encourage us to have them. But some are benevolent and can emit a faint scent of flowers and streams of positive, happy thoughts that waft through the air and cause a shower of blossoms to fall. During the 7th to 9th century, there was an attempt to classify these energies. The list has changed over the centuries, but it is still known as the eight classifications of demons or the impure manifestations of the eight types of consciousness. A few examples are Sadags, Titans or Guardians of the Upper Realms, Maras, Obstacle Creators, Rahula, the force behind eclipses that bring adversity or obstacles. They, they rang, oh, Tairang, Imps that move household objects and make children sick. Rakshasas, demons. Yakshas, tricksters. Mamo, ogres or demonesses. And Nagas, water and earth spirits that live in trees, rocks, and waterways. They can be friendly or antagonistic according to how you treat their home. Damn. According to how you treat their home. I love Buddhist demonology. It is not like that oh so scary and fear invoking and controlling Christian demonology, which I denounce. I'm like, man, please, I they teach me how to put these things to use in my practice, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
okay? Make them work for me and make them work for you. All these wonderful energies, because not everything is here to hurt us, okay? Some angels are here to hurt us, okay? Just as there are male malevolent demons, there are malevolent angels, okay? Not all beings of light are right, okay? Within every realm, there is something that's going to hurt you. Not all you're going to resonate with this message. Why? Well, that's just how it is. Um, my messages aren't going to change. That's how it's always going to be with these things. Okay? Interesting. <laughs> this root almost looks like a Sasquatch in here. Okay, here we go from the Osho Buddha Discovery deck. Oh, look at that beautiful image. I love that image. Nice. Okay, so what does this say? If you are happy at the expense of another man's happiness, you are forever bound. Boy, we sure are talking about things that bind you, okay? Here in the wheel card, binding, okay? Happy at another man's expense, okay? Took everything from them, made them completely vulnerable, and just is pulling them down, okay? Here, not hap or happy, at, at, but happy, but not at somebody else's expense, okay? And see how there's no attachment, okay? The M. All right. Whatsoever you possess in this world, you possess at somebody else's expense, at the cost of somebody else's pleasure. There is no other way, if you really want to be inimical to anybody in the world, you have to drop the whole idea of possessiveness. Use whatsoever happens to be with you in the moment, but don't be possessive. Don't try to claim that it is yours. Nothing is yours. All belongs to existence. We come with empty hands and we will go with empty hands. So what is the point of claiming so much in the meantime? Osho. Hey, I like that card, Osho. All right, you guys. <sighs> Clearing with the Ganta. Blessings from the Ganta. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for hooking it up, your donations, buying your readings. Remember, you can buy those as gifts too. And give them to friends. Great way to introduce your friends to tarot. Like, hey, come get a reading from this guy. I got you a gift. Okay, going on till the end of February. The last day of February is it. And then prices go back up to my original prices. My Reiki sessions are all still the same though. Those do not go down due to the energy that is used. I love you guys. This wheel was so much fun. The other three that I tried to do really sucked and I did not like the energy and I did not want to bring that energy to you. Okay, this was a more, not say positive wheel, we'll just say more balanced, okay? This energy was just more healthy. It was, it was a healthier energy than what was coming through before. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for letting me come into your homes and bringing all this to you. Hope you have a great day. I hope you can get some good clean water, good food, warmth, security, safety. All right, it's, 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 it's crazy out there and we're all in this together, okay? We're all in this together. All right, I love you guys. Blessings, I'll see you.